tried many child abuse cases in my career, and this child was simply put being starved to death. And it is tragic. This next story, extremely disturbing. A 10-year-old Georgia boy in the hospital tonight after despicable allegations of child abuse. The parents, you see, you just saw right there on your screen, accused of starving their own son in Spalding County. Now, the district attorney calling it the cruelest thing in her career. Tyler and Krista Shindley are in custody right now in Griffin. That's where we find our Tori Cooper tonight. And Tori, you spoke with neighbors today about this awful, awful story. I did, Savannah, and prosecutors say it was neighbors who spotted this 10-year-old little boy walking barefoot in the neighborhood on his way to Kroger. And neighbors say when they saw that, they knew something wasn't right. I was walking around um, barefooted, confused looking. If you saw this 10-year-old boy outside your window, neighbors say you would have a lot of questions. She took him in her garage and um, as, yeah, gave, he said, I'm really hungry. I haven't had anything to eat since uh, Wednesday. Neighbors called police immediately, and now the child's parents, Tyler and Krista Shinley, are facing several charges, including child cruelty and criminal intent to commit murder. I have tried many child abuse cases in my career, and this child was simply put being starved to death and it is tragic. Spalding County prosecutors say the child was just 36 pounds when he was taken to the hospital and his heartbeat was very low. Police warrants say it appeared he was also confined to a dark room alone without access to a bathroom or toiletries. We aren't releasing any photos of this child for obvious reasons, but I will tell you the photos are absolutely horrible. And anyone with a human heart that looks at them should be shaken to their core. Neighbors relieved knowing a vigilant eye asked the right questions at the right time. That no more children will be affected by this because I mean this yeah. is this is this is this is tragic. Now police say that the child is alive tonight, but we are still working on getting an update on his condition. They also say that in total there were five children inside of this home who will now all be interviewed. Reporting live in Spalding County, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First.